hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my cooking channel i'm so excited to be here today to be filming another delicious recipe for you guys i know you guys have been waiting i have been waiting to film too as well it's my day off today i usually get on here to film my recipe on my days off so yeah i'm so excited today we are gonna be cooking a foriro and some stew like kind of like a party stew if you're Nigerian, you know what i'm talking about like you can make a for roll itself or you can make a stew to go with it so uh because my little kids they don't like vegetables it's really hard to make them eat vegetables so I make like rice stew and vegetables so me and my husband and the rest of the kids can enjoy the vegetable and they can also enjoy the fries too so i'm gonna be making like party stew um with this vegetable I, I hope i'm making sense so i'm making two soups pretty much today hmm today's like a long day for me it's been like really up and down because my little kids i plan to film because i i usually get two days off just like everyone else who get two days off in the work and uh, mondays and tuesdays are my days off so i usually plan i usually film on monday for this cooking channel and i will and i will edit it on tuesday but this week it's been like oh it's been too much because my daughter came home last Friday with a really bad stomach ache and we had to like rush her to the hospital and then um, she, she, she was not eating anything, she was just throwing up anything she eats, she was just throwing up. At one point she didn't eat for like a whole day. Um, I think that was on Saturday. She like she was just drinking water. She was I, I was happy that she was drinking water and she was keeping hydrating. Anyways, long story short she started feeling better on sunday night and i was like she's not gonna go to school tomorrow i'm just gonna keep her home with me so i couldn't film because of course if she's not going to school a big sister who is like a year older than her also want to stay home they're like twins so they stayed home and i was like and they said oh mom take us out to like go around and we want to like go to class we want to get nail polish you know six seven years old five years old then that stage now that's like you know explore be girly so i took them out you know also to make my little girl happy so i bought them all this girly stuff yesterday at clears and then went to Adin around 6 p.m so i could not film anything i was tired so this morning i was thinking oh now that she's fine she'll go to school and guess what before we went to bed last night my other daughter she came she started having stomach ache she was throwing up again and i'm like are you kidding me so to cut the story short, they're both home with me today. So I plan to like film, get up this morning, film, and then edit today, and then hopefully I can send it out. But that didn't go as planned. But um, so I'm here today. Well, I'm here right now. It's almost 3 p.m. I'm gonna be filming. It's so late. Usually I'll start my cooking like around 10 in the morning, and I'll be done by 2, and I'll have time to relax. Or if it's late, I'll be done before the kids come or right on the time the kids come. But today, they're home. So I'm starting a bit late because I've been doing here a lot of things on my YouTube. Um, I noticed there's drop in views on my on my family channel. So I've been talking to them. And they're trying to fix that for me. I'm hoping they can fix that. I'm talking a lot. I need to break that down for you guys. You guys know me. I'm going to break it down. If you're new to my channel, my name is Abby. And I post videos on here, cooking videos, which is cook and clean with me. Sometimes clean with me and cook with me. Sometimes just cook with me. Sometimes just clean with me. Mommy's lifestyle. So make sure you're here and you subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more of me, Follow me on my vlog channel. That's when you're going to see me, my husband, my children, my stepchildren, my entire life. You know, I put it out there for you guys. Real raw thing. And if you want to see my main girly channel, everything is going to be in the comment section below. My stepdaughter, Yuzra, her channel will be in the comment section. My little kids, the channel will also be in the comment section. I'm talking for four minutes. Anyway, with that being said, it's going to be a long cooking let's just get right into Okay guys, so right now I'm going to be introducing you guys to everything I'm going to be using to cook. I hope I have everything here. 
well I don't have the spices and stuff here but I have everything here so I'm gonna be showing you guys one by one like I said I'm gonna be making stew and I'm gonna be making a for real with like the dry thick vegetable soup so yeah I don't know if I mentioned it to those of you who doesn't know it for real I vegetable soup really good for you and yeah so um I'm gonna start sorry guys I want to start with the vegetable okay, so ever since I tried this vegetable um, it's called chopped spinach ever since I started using it I'm not going back it's really good really thick well I will go back if I want the kale but this is actually really good it looks small in the bed but when I put when I cook it it's like so it swallow up so much and it's so thick so I'm gonna be using that and uh, the mix that I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using some smoked turkey and I'm gonna be using this for the uh, for real roll. and um, I'm gonna use some dry fish for the vegetable soup the for real roll is called vegetable soup for those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about I'm gonna be using some dry fish in there too and I'm gonna be using some crayfish and I'm gonna slice some mushrooms in there because I found this in the fridge and I don't want them to go bad and if I don't use them now, they might go back by tomorrow because they've been in my fridge for like over a week. So I'm gonna be using them in the Eforero. And um, this is the dry pepper that I'm gonna be using, the hydrated one that I usually use. So I'm gonna be using some of it, not everything is a lot. I'm gonna be using some of it and I'm gonna be blending the rest with this one to go with the um, fry stew, the party stew. I'm putting it on the side and for the vegetable soup I'm gonna be using some of this um, dry fish as well this you can find this anywhere in Africa I love it or I don't know if the Caribbeans or the Jamaican if they have this but if you guys do let me know if, is that the same is it the same way you guys make it you guys make it this way or it's just West African thing or African thing so anyways I'm using some of these I'm using stock fish and for my stew i'm gonna be using meat and this is just regular meat with some bones in it and i'm gonna be frying some fish and this one is the it's the white fish some people call it white fish some people call it croaker fish so you guys know that i have a long way to go so i have to get into it before i go i'm gonna be showing you this locust beans is going to be going with the vegetable i'm gonna be showing you guys as i go so yeah um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking as always and start cooking. Okay, guys, I think I forgot to mention to you guys that I have fresh turkey as well. So I'm gonna be boiling them together with the meat. I'm just gonna be adding all my ingredients now. Um, I'm gonna be adding some salt, and you guys know this stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit, even some garlic ginger thyme onion powder i'm gonna use some black pepper i just like the way the black pepper boosted taste um curry Gonna add some water and I'm going to add some onions. Mix this in. And I'm gonna let this cook. You know what? I'm gonna change this to this burner because this burner is more faster than this. Yeah, you guys can see it's not really coming up. So yeah, and I'm gonna let this cook for the next 15 minutes and I'm gonna add the dry fish here so they can cook together for the next uh, 30 minutes. I like to cook my meat for 45 minutes so that's how long I cook my meat for. Some people say you can cook them for two hours. Some people say three hours. 
Okay, so while that is cooking, I'm gonna set up another frying pan on this side. It's a little, it's a little dirty. It's a little dirty, so I just wanna wipe it. And this one is where I'm gonna be cooking my fresh fish. Uh, sorry, frying my fresh fish in here. Gonna let this heat up, and then I will start frying my fresh fish. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And I'm going to, you know, like that. I'm going to drain it. So I'm just going to keep that on the side here. Oil is a little heat up, so I'm going to stop placing my fish in it. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm gonna be adding these, the fish, because they're pretty dry after 15 minutes, so I'm doing that now. My husband really loves this fish, so every time I'm making this kind of stew, I always add into it. And I'm gonna add some of this stock fish. Not all of it, just the hard one, the big one. This little one, um, I'm not gonna add them because it gets soft really fast, so I'm not gonna add them. Okay guys, so now my fish is completely fried. I have them here. Um, I am going to fry some of this meat. I'm going to be frying this meat because I want them fried. So I'm just going to put them here. guys I'm gonna be blending my peppers right now I have my um, bell peppers even though I have this one first I want to blend the one that I'm gonna be using for this too so I'm gonna be adding fresh bell pepper um, it's just gonna make it more rich and no this one is for it yeah and I'm gonna add some of this Tomato. Some of this tomato, I'm gonna rinse it off. Cause I'm gonna add onions. And I have a leftover tomato paste that I'm gonna add here. This is about two tablespoons. Okay, so, and I'm gonna add a little bit of water in there and I'm gonna bring everything to blend. Like I said, this one is for the stew and I'm going to be blending the one for the vegetable soup separately. I'm going to take them out. My meat is like nice and golden brown. So yeah, I'm going to take them out and put the second back into it. Okay, so. Uh, things are getting serious. I'm going to start cooking my stew. Okay. Because it's winter time, so this oil just get hard fast. So, anyways, um, um, so I'm using 
vegetable oil sorry not vegetable I'm using palm oil to cook today I'm gonna use this is I'm cooking this too right now and I added some palm oil here so it's just melting and um, I'm gonna be adding a touch of vegetable oil just to bleach it okay so the oil is hot enough so I'm gonna dump my pepper we go and I'm gonna add some water to rinse this there we go oh, as you can see sorry about my stove right now it's really messy of course I can't help that because I'm cooking so yeah I am going to add the spices I want to use I'm gonna add some some of this and some salt a little bit of salt I have to put the salt in my hand that's enough I'm gonna add some ginger powder and I'm gonna mix this in Let this cook for about 10 minutes before I add the other stuff. This is the situation of my kitchen. It's oh, it's horrible. You can see the frying pan, hot, lots of hot. I have to start figuring how I'm gonna clean this out, um, which I don't know. Obviously, I haven't been cooked, I haven't been cleaning as I go. So, right now, I have to find a way to sort this out. Oh, everywhere is occupied my tiny kitchen is get occupied pretty fast so but anyway I'm gonna start cleaning now okay guys i'm so sorry i thought i was recording but i just added the meat i didn't know i wasn't recording oh my gosh this is one of the crazy things we go through as a youtuber but yeah i just added the fried meat in the sauce i just added it in it and i'm gonna cover this it's i, I can see this too is too thick so i'm adding water yeah okay and i'm gonna let this continue to cook Okay guys, I'm gonna check on Ooh. It looks really good And yeah, this is almost ready um, I'm gonna add my fish because I'm cooking fish with it too Gonna like I'm not mixing it too much I'm just gonna let it like cook for the next couple more minutes and it should be right I tasted it already and it tastes so good so yeah I don't need any 
Maggi or salt, it's perfect. Let's do this again. This is the third time today that I thought I was recording and I was not recording and I already talked. <laughs> I already talked through everything I was, you know, explaining to you guys. So anyways, um, I just finished cleaning up my, the whole pile of dish here. Oh, that was a lot. I'm honestly, I'm very tired and exhausted after washing those dishes and pots and fry pans and all of that stuff. So I'm already exhausted. It's not easy for people who cook and clean and record honestly it's a lot of work if you do it full time on youtube cook clean with me every time it's not easy it's exhausting it's draining so after after i finish washing those dishes i just want to go sit down and just hang out on my phone but i can't i have to finish cooking so right now um i finished like i said i finished i haven't put away the stuff that i washed i put some away like the blender some big pots but right now i'm gonna focus on my efori roll which is my vegetable soup um i showed you guys earlier let me move this closer i finished the stew and it turns out really delicious and look at the look look, look at the look guys Look at it, it looks so good and it tastes really delicious. So I'm just gonna like be done with that for now and focus on the vegetable soup. Okay guys, so right now I am going to be blending my peppers for the vegetable soup. So some of you guys might be wondering why you didn't blend it with the other one. That's because I wanted the other one to be very like fine, smooth. But this one, I just wanna like crush it down. I don't want it too smooth, so that's that. So I'm gonna be using the um, dehydrated pepper. crush it down so you guys can see that's what I'm looking for perfect so now just gonna take this out I always like to unplug anything I use right away because of my kit about that's good okay so um, the palm oil is hot now so I'm gonna add some onions in it And I'm gonna fry the onions for a little bit. Okay guys, so my onions is nice and fried. I'm, now I'm gonna add my uh, peppers in here. Mm. And I'm gonna add my locust beans. Oh, it's hot. Ah, it's so hot. And I'm gonna mix it. So, I'm gonna add my crayfish now. It's nice and soaking, so all the dirt can go in the bottom of the bowl. I'm gonna add my uh, you guys remember the fish that I was cooking with the uh, with my mates the other time so there's a lot of Maggi sorry there's a lot of Maggi in it already so and salt that's why I don't want to add any except to give it a taste if I need to add Maggi into it or salt I will be adding it into it otherwise it should be fine and also I'm gonna add my stockfish And I'm gonna cover this to cook together. So, wow. Oh my God. This stew is looking, honestly, so good. Seriously, really good. 
So I'm gonna test it now if I need salt or Maggi. Mm. I don't think I need any. Honestly, for me, it's good. Um, if my husband needs some when he's eating it, he can add a little bit of salt in it. But for me, I'm good. So, so now I'm gonna be adding my vegetable and just throwing it in. And I'm gonna throw the mushrooms in it as well. I'm going to mix this. Okay, so I have my smoked turkey here because it's smoked and it's completely cooked. So I'm gonna add it in it right now because if I add it earlier, it will like overcook and kind of soggy. I don't like that. I've tried that before in the past, but I like it towards the end. It stays really nice and perfect. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna let that cook together and I will check it and I'll show you guys after, so yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am super duper 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 super super tired. I'm so tired. And I had to stop in between to go to my son's school for parents, teachers' parents meeting. So I just got back right now and I realized that I didn't show you guys the results of my cooking. I had to finish really quick before I left. So I'm gonna show you guys what everything turns out to be. Um, you guys will not be able to tell that I just filmed it anyway Like I've been out for a long time and I just got back and I'm just showing you You guys won't be able to tell but I'm gonna show you guys the results of my soups Um, I cooked some rice and beans right here and the kids I, like I said earlier my little kids doesn't like rice and beans So I made them some spaghetti Um, this is the stew you guys saw that when I was making it And this is the vegetable soup and it looks really delicious And yeah and some salad that we're gonna be eating with it so this is just like a basic coleslaw salad and yeah this is everything oh my gosh it took me so long i'm not gonna lie to you it's around late right now not too too late but it's too late because i started cooking late um this afternoon i started cooking late this afternoon so anyways um i want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support and yeah please if you enjoyed today's video do not forget to subscribe and thumbs up check out my other channel which is my vlog my main channel and the kids channel and my stepdaughter's channel i love you guys so much and i'll catch you guys in my next one